Hey guys, it's Brianne. I wanted to pop on here to give you my top five tips for using social media for your business. I just gave a training on this for our team at Wine Shop and it was really well received. So I wanted to just hop on and kind of give you a condensed version of that. The training that I did was about 20 minutes long. Um, I do have it recorded, so if you are interested in hearing that, um, shoot me a message and I'm happy to email that over to you. So um, my intention for this call is, um, or this video guys, is to share with you the love and passion that I found for using social media for my business. I am in no way an expert. Uh, I am a mom of three. I am building a online business and an in-person wine tasting business and I am stumbling along the way just like the rest of you trying to figure out how to use social media to grow my business. But here are the five things that I found um, social media has worked the best for me and how I'm using it um, currently in my business. So I, my first tip for you is you need to pick a platform and you need to use it consistently. I've chosen Instagram. I personally think Instagram is probably one of the best platforms that you can use for growing your business. Um, Facebook can be a little bit tricky. I wanted um, to kind of build my own following on Instagram. I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to share my story. And Instagram just felt like the right place for me to do that. But if you like Facebook, use Facebook. If you like Twitter, use Twitter. Whatever you like, use it and use it consistently. And what do I mean by consistently? I once heard that you should post up to 15 times a day. Um, to grow a following or to grow a brand or influence on Instagram. I know you're thinking 15 times a day, what the heck am I gonna do? When I say you should post, I don't mean that you should just keep spewing content to your, to your followers. I mean you should be engaging up to 15 times a day, whether that's through your stories, through liking other people's posts, through commenting other people's, on other people's posts, um, responding to comments that people made on your posts. Um, you just really wanna be engaging with your following um, and developing a relationship with them because that's what social media should be for. It's developing relationships with people that maybe we wouldn't meet um, in our everyday life. I want you to be really careful too when you're, you're thinking of engagement. Um, sometimes I think people think, oh, if I'm gonna engage, I'm gonna sell. No, you don't wanna always be selling. You wanna be offering um, content that is interesting to people that is not just about booking a wine tasting in my case or not just about joining my team but different um, things that I found helpful in my life or what I like to share. Um, I just like to kind of put my authentic self out there so that you can get to know me and get to know my brand um, when you go to my feed. So tip number two for you guys now is build your personal brand. I think this is so important. You know, I love Wine Shop at Home. I love what we stand for. I love what we do, but I am not Wine Shop at Home. I'm Brianne Failer. I am a hot mess mom of three boys. I am trying to figure out how to be a mom, how to run my wine business, and how to love myself for who I am. That's me and that's my brand. And that's what I try and show in my social media content. Um, am I a wine consultant? Yes, but that's not all of me. Um, I also really try not to post a lot of sales flyers or information about that. I do the majority of my selling at my wine tastings. Um, that's where I have my customers in a setting where they're engaged and excited to learn and buy wine. That's where I sell. Um, but Instagram really is just for you to get to know who I am and to get to know my business a little bit better. Uh, so you've got to figure out your personal brand so that you can tell that story. So how did I do that? I sat down, I made a list of all the things that make Brianne Brianne. Um, my hobbies, my likes, my dislikes, and then I picked five things that stood out to me. Those five things were wine, that I'm a hot mess mom of three, entertaining and bringing people together, inspiring other women and moms that you can be more than just mom, and finding my authentic self and being true to that. And I use those five things as my guides for all of my posts. And I hope that when I'm posting and sharing with you guys that, that those five things are kind of intertwined in there so that you can get to know me better and what I stand for. Okay, tip number three. Don't be a creep. <laughs> if you wouldn't say it in person, don't do it on social media. And guys, I'm not talking about political posts or um, I'm not talking about posting funny memes. I'm just talking about how you interact with people. Please do not stop watching, get off this video and hop over into your DMs and message every single person you've ever met um, with a hey girl message. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Hey girl, I haven't talked to you in like a hundred years, but I have a great opportunity and you should totally join my team. Or hey girl, you just started following me. I know nothing about you, but you should totally join my team. I only tell you guys this because 
I've done it. I've sent those messages and I will tell you right now, they do not work. Just like I wouldn't walk up to a stranger in the middle of the a grocery store and say, hey guy, I have no clue who you are, but you should totally do join my team. You would rock this business. Guys, just don't do it online. Take time to get to know the person, to develop that relationship. Um, use social media to start those conversations. People join your team or people book tastings with you or people buy products from you because they trust you. Build that trust, build that relationship, and then the other stuff will follow naturally. All right, so guys, just promise me you won't be a creep. On to number four, don't be afraid of messenger and direct messages. I think that's one of the most valuable tools that social media gives us is the ability to communicate with people through messenger. I love a phone call and I think that is the easiest way in some ways um, to get a point across. But let's face it, when my phone rings, I think either somebody died or does that person not know how to use text message? <laughs> so you don't wanna um, only use your um, messenger to uh, reach out to people, you wanna use messenger to have conversations and to get to know them better. I give people the option when I'm talking about my business with them. Do you wanna talk on messenger? Do you wanna talk via text? Do you wanna talk on the phone? And I meet them where they are most comfortable. Um, and then if you do use messenger, don't just throw all this information at them. Get to know them, find out what they're interested in, find out what interests them about the business. Um, use messenger as a tool to start that conversation. All right, guys, so my last tip for you, this is number five slash six. I wanted to keep it at five, but I had a little extra. Um, don't be afraid to try new things and give them time to work. Social media is constantly changing. Things that are going to work today are not necessarily gonna go work tomorrow. There's no right way to use social media. I heard, um, I've heard a lot of people say, actually, um, sometimes done is better than perfect, and I think that is 100% true of social media. So. If you are thinking, I wanna try something new, or I wanna try using my stories, or I wanna try using video, just do it. Don't be afraid to try those new things. And give them time to work. Things that I started in my business on Instagram or social media six months ago are just starting to affect my business today. It's not gonna happen overnight. So I don't want you to think, I can just post five things, or I can do five stories, or I can spend five minutes tomorrow on my Instagram, and then I'm suddenly gonna have people knocking at my door to join my team. It really doesn't work that way. Um, but if you put the work in and you're able to build connections, have I know that you'll be able to grow your business, um, grow your following, grow your influence on here if you just put the work in. So guys, I have five things you have to remember. Pick a platform, use it consistently. Build your personal brand. Don't be a creep. Don't be afraid of a uh, messenger. And don't be afraid to try new things and pivot when things don't go as you had hoped. I hope this video was helpful. I tried to keep it short for you guys. I would love your feedback, so drop me a DM. Let me know what else you'd like to learn about. And I hope that you're able to uh, take a new approach to your business and continue to grow it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.